All right, boys. Yes, sir, we back at it again. Here today, yeah, you've seen the title. I gotta give you guys a little bit of info regarding the Purgatory Bond banner. Given we already know what the banner is, we have a lot to talk about here today, so I hope you guys are ready for it. I swear, every time I hit record, I have to get a Belmos raid, right? And I and I want to do this so bad, because I know Jazzy needs him. But, uh, yeah, I'm rip, rip Jazzy. I'm recording. I'm sorry, bro. Once again, thank you guys all for the support on the channel. We're almost there at 12.3k. We're at the time of recording. We're six subs away, so if you would like to subscribe, helps out a ton. On this video, if it does help you out, consider leaving a like. I did set up high like goals in my previous videos. So for this one, we'll see if we can crack this one. We'll go for uh, 399 likes. Let's see if we can crack it. <laughs> With no further delay, let's hop into it. First of all, the banner. I've already covered this in a previous video, so I don't want to repeat info. But these three units, okay? Yes, yes. Back to the, yep, three, these three units again. Then we got three more units. Nice, beautiful. These, oh yeah, wonderful, wonderful units. I beg your pardon. These three and these three. Overall, it's a very, very good banner, and I will say it right now. Global, you did good. I didn't get to really, you know, uh, put the point across, but congratulations to everyone that voted properly. And it's funny because if you go to the forums right now, all of the trolls are like, yeah, the only reason you made it is because people had to make videos on it. It's funny, but uh, yeah, that's that's it. We won. It's in the end. It's, uh, it's a big dub for us. All I do is win, win. No matter what. But again, with this banner, right, I want you guys to know something really quickly, okay? With the Purgatory Bond banner, right, there is two problems you can, practically speaking, make with this banner. One of them is skipping the banner, and one of them is not skipping the banner. Hey, yo, what the fu- Now again, that might not make any sense to any of you, but I will explain it really quickly, right? With the Purgatory Bond banner, he is a game-breaking character, right? He is going to be a menacing person, he's going to be in PvP for a while, he is going to destroy, but... There is something that we're waiting for, it is this on screen. We are waiting for Ragnarok, and with Ragnarok, people are speculating that there might be a massive, massive counter to the character Bond, right? I do kind of presume of that happening too, but we don't know anything right now. I don't want to give you guys the 100% go ahead on skipping this. First of all, no, do not skip this banner, okay? In my comment section, I had a lot of people saying, dude, it's just a skip banner. I don't even know why. I don't know if those are the trolls, like, just messing around. But again, people read my comments and people, you know, sometimes believe what people say. So, when I tell you right now, this is by no means a skip banner, okay? First of all, you have too many good units on the side. Screw Purgatory Bond, okay? Maybe some people always come back to the same point of, oh my god, Purgatory Bond's just gonna get countered. Oh my god, whatever, whatever, right? The banner's too good. You have Sariel, you have Chandler, you have, the, you have the basic, literal core units of this thing. The top six is already spicy. Seven and nine, you got me there. Number eight's good. 10, 11, 12 is good. 13, 14, 15. All units on the supporting side, minus two, are good, right? With that being said, it's a solid banner. You should summon regardless of anything. So please, don't be reading my comment section. Don't be going to Twitter. Don't be going to Reddit and be like, you know, people say like, dude, this is a must-skip banner. Don't listen to them. They're, they're on something. They've been... They've been I can't even, dude, for PG reasons, I can't say it because, you know, you know what's going to happen. And yes, on top of that, with these, you know, core 15 units, minus two, 13 units. I'm going to say 13 from now on to deal with it. Uh, we also have four, you know, festival units. Those festival units are beautiful. Imperatory Bun, Festival King, uh, Za Wan, Lost Vin Meliodas. Don't be like Jazzy and 66 King, though. Remember that. But again, with this banner, it's going to be very good. It's going to be something that I want you guys to go and invest in. But I don't want you guys to make the mistake of, you know what, I'm going to do it just because uh, just because of meta, just because of this. If you're only summoning Fort Bond because of meta, I want you to wait two days into the banner, okay? Why wait two days? Because the banner drops on a Tuesday for us, okay? When it drops, well, for me, practically speaking, it drops on a Tuesday. When it drops on a Tuesday, if you wait till Wednesday, and then you wait till Thursday, two days, practically, I would say like 38 hours or 40 hours, not really 48 hours, but yeah. If you wait that long, you will find out the reveal of Ragnarok. When it comes to Ragnarok, I am expecting there to be good units. And again, we don't know if they're a banner. We don't know if they're going to drop a banner right away. How I see it, it would be pretty intelligent for them to drop a banner right away because everyone wants to see the Ragnarok units. I personally, you know, also want to see them. Who knows how many units jump on a banner at one time. I'm expecting it to be similar to a collab where they drop four banner units. The banner lasts one month, just like how King Arthur lasted because they're going to go and switch to this, you know, one month idea. I just see that happening again. That is all speculation regarding it. We we don't know if there's a banner. If you want to wait and see if you know those characters will counter bond, you can fully do that. But again, please don't go through my comment section reading them and being like, yeah, people are saying it's a skip. Don't skip this banner, bro. It's so good. There are so many things. Just pulling extra copies of any, any psych of these units are good, okay? Everything other than these two. I'm going to keep, dude, it's going to become a meme at some point. 
that every time we have a vote matter, these two units will make it. Also, with that being said, another thing I want to inform you guys for anyone that does not know already, because apparently people didn't know this because, you know, I dropped a video earlier, two days, four days, five days ago, and uh, a few people didn't know about this, right? There is, in fact, Hakan Oslo. This is what it looks like on screen. This is the banner. With this banner, it's very good as well. If you're trying to save for Festival Soldiers because people missed out, they couldn't complete the pity or complete the rotation on Festival Soldiers, this is your next chance to get it. Let's say you don't like Bon as much and you'd rather run Demon Meta because you're just, you know, you're the Demon King or whatever. I don't know. If you want to, that's the matter for you. Again, what I want you to be aware of is if you're going on the first day for 17 rotations, please don't, okay? I want you to wait at least a day or two, okay? Go the first rotation, day one. Just see how good Ragnarok is. I currently can't guarantee anything, right? I don't know how it's going to be. Remember, JP gets their announcement two days after us, so we will see. And it is confirmed that Ragnarok is next. Why? They made a tweet, this tweet on screen, where they say, coming soon. This was after Hawk and Oslo. Yeah, yeah, maybe so. So with that being said, Ragnarok is soon. This person on screen is also soon. Yeah, that brother's starving. Would I summon for her over Bond? <laughs> you already know. Okay, I'm just kidding. But yeah, on a serious note, though, we have a solid banner coming up soon. I want you guys to summon for it, please. Don't make that mistake of, I'm skipping it because people told me to. It's, dude, it's so good. I don't know why people would say, you know, skip it. It's like the, it's, it's the, probably the best banner you'll get in a, you know, in a lifetime. We're never gonna get a banner like this, to be honest with you. Like, be honest with me. Tell me when you got a banner that has Green Shin, okay? Nanashi, Blue Easton, these three characters. <clears throat> uh, you know, Derriere, yeah. Then these three, and these three, and four festival units, one of them being okay, three of them being solid. With that being said again, yeah, you don't often get that. Take it while you have it, take advantage of the entire banner, and again, if you are just somebody because of meta reasons and you don't really enjoy the banner, just wait two days. Wait till you see Ragnarok, see how spicy that is. Maybe it goes and counters Bond, and that's what people are waiting for. Who honestly knows? We can't guarantee anything. Being a global player, we have that kind of perk of just, you know, seeing how good a banner is before, you know, it comes over here. So I will be well, I will be saying, yes, wait, if you would like to, if you would like to summon, do it day one. Do one rotation only. Have fun with the banner. It's so good. Again, thank you, Global, for actually making it a good banner. I really appreciate you. Also, for anyone wondering about this little Chad right here, my boy Arthur, he is a good unit. People are still asking me, should I summon, should I summon, should I summon? It's 242 gems. Take it into account. If you're going the 900, you're going to at least need an extra 242 on top of that. So let's say I will want you to have at least 13, uh, 1.3k gems at this moment in time. If you have those gems, you can go and summon. If you have around 900 gems at this moment in time, go and summon. If you have a minimum of 600 gems, that is the limit. I don't want you to go any below, below that, but if you have 600, you will still make it for Bond, given you have five weeks to save for him. Altogether, you can go and acquire at least 600 gems, given we should, should have a final boss. We should have all of that. So again, you can go and dedicate some gems onto King Arthur. Would I recommend it? Yeah, King Arthur's good. I did it. Jazzy did it. He's happy with it. I think he ended up pulling, I don't know, so two, two King Arthurs, I believe so and somebody else so he did pop off if you would like to try it he is on a rate up so it's a pretty good chance of pulling him not a terrible chance it's a really good one so again just quick try to recap all my info you guys understand everything ragnarok's gonna be here soon good banner do not skip it do not listen to comment section do not listen to reddit do not listen to forums people are weird they just say things to like go and ruin it and i know you're gonna be like dude this is common knowledge this is this is obvious people believe it bro people actually sit there and believe what they say so please don't believe it thank you again for watching peace out everyone enjoy the rest of your day and i'll catch you guys in the next one ladies